In this video, we're going to look at distance time graphs and how to interpret distance time graphs. The slope of a distance time graph is the blank. Well, okay, so slope is rise over run, as you know. And if you look at a distance time graph, just scroll down for a second there, you see the rise is measured in distance and the run is measured in time. The rise is in distance, the run is in time. So for example, a unit for rise might be meters. That's a unit for distance, and the run might be measured in seconds. Meters over seconds. Meters per second. So this tells you that the slope of a distance time graph is the speed. So if we know the slope, we know the speed. So what does a straight line with a positive slope mean? If it's a straight line, then that means it is a constant speed. It's not changing, at least not by any measurable amount. It's a constant speed. Uh, what does a slope of zero mean? Well, if the slope is the speed and the slope is zero, that means the speed is zero. That means the object is not moving. Another way to say that, the object is stationary. Stationary means not moving. Can we have a negative slope on a distance time graph? Well, can you have negative distance? Like if you go, if you go five meters one way, and if you go two meters back, what's the distance? Well, it's seven meters. Right, so it doesn't matter which direction you're going, the distance just keeps accumulating. So no, you cannot have negative distance, and therefore you could, uh, you could not have negative slope. So you cannot have negative distance. So let's look at an example of a car. So maybe just pause the video for a second here. Look at this graph and just try to ask yourself, what is this car doing in this graph? So we see sort of four sections to the car's movement here. We can number these. Let's call this one, two, three, and four. And let's answer some of these questions. What's the car doing from 0 to 0 0.75 hours? Well, 0 0.75 hours, that's uh, 45 minutes. So that's this first section here. Well, let's, let's calculate the slope. Let's rise over run. I think we can see the rise is about 75 kilometers. And the run is 0 0.75 hours. So the average speed for that section is 100 kilometers per hour. Notice there's no direction because this is a distance time graph. Okay, next, section two. So it looks like, it looks like the rise here is approximately 12 kilometers. You might disagree a little bit, but it's pretty close to 12. 12 kilometers, and that's 0 0.25 hours. So for this section, we have a speed of about 48 kilometers per hour. Section three, that's the horizontal slope here. Well, we established earlier that a horizontal slope, or zero slope, means the object is stationary. So from one hour to 1.75 hours, the car is not moving. The car is stationary. And finally, 
1.75 to 2.5 hours. Uh, it looks like the slope here is about 38 kilometers and the time there is 0 0.75 hours so I get 51 kilometers per hour okay please pause the video and try these calculations for yourself make sure you understand how I got these numbers and then the last question this is what is the average speed of the car uh, this should probably say what is the average speed of the car for the entire trip so this is for the whole trip so the total rise was 125 kilometers and the total time was 2.5 hours so the average speed is 50 kilometers per hour Okay, and in the next video, we're going to do something similar, but we're going to be looking at a, a displacement time graph.